chainsaw mouth sitting on my right. I suppose uh, he needs no introduction. Many of you have already known him. He's a well-known international lawyer and recognized achievement in the, in, from the international community. I suppose you know about the recent publication about him with a funny photo with all the yen surrounding him, like, you know, the Chinese high sun yen, but yen from the American lawyers. Um, I suppose his years of uh, work in the international community, especially the capital market uh, arena, has also been caught the attention of uh, Singapore and as well as uh, the local community. And uh, he was appointed as a visor uh, to the uh, law faculty of the SMU. And the chairman of the advisory committee is none other than our previous uh, Chief Justice, Yong Pang Hao. So I suppose, I think, uh, somehow or other, the legal fraternity here recognizes his contribution and his value to Singapore as uh, an international lawyer and the skill set that he has gained and experienced through all this uh, world, you know, Rajas IPO and all that. Uh, that aside, I think maybe I want to say something about my view about him as a person. I will say so in Mandarin. Chen Shuo Mao is a very successful person. His success is not just in the country. He is a historical and thinking person. Such a person with such a position, with such a achievement, 通常呢，第一很难放下他所拥有的一切，回来新加坡参政，因为呃，这不是每个人都能够呃拿得起放得下看得开的事情。第二，以他过惯这样的一种生活，就是这样的社会地位的一个生活，要那一个人放下身段，呃，去小贩中心卖报纸去。跟人家接触，也可能有时候要受到人家不礼貌的对待，而能够处之泰然的人呢，我相信也不多。而我们工人拿到最后呢，接受陈硕茂，也愿意呃使他成为候选人，愿意让他参与这届的大选啊。这就是因为我跟我们党对他的观察。I think you can go ahead, Shomal. Friends, welcome. I'm Chen Shomal. I'm a member of the Workers' Party. I'm a Singaporean. In the second half of my life, and I would like to give something back to my country through my work with the party. The coming election is about your future. It's about your children's future and about into whose hands do you entrust that future? Do you give all of the power that affects your future to one party? and hope for the best? Or do you keep that power for yourself and give yourself a choice? A choice of capable parties competing to give you a better future. But in order to have that choice tomorrow, you would need to support the opposition in Singapore today so that we will have the opportunity, the time, and the means to grow and develop and become more seasoned in matters of government. That's 
what we ask of you. Vote the Workers' Party towards a first world parliament. Go ahead. 下午好，我是陈硕茂，是工人党的党员。我落叶归根，参加这一次的大选，是希望能够回报社会，对我们民主建设的工作做出一点贡献。是民主，究竟是关于民生。我的理念很简单，要有竞争，才有进步。这个道理，不管是在国国会外还是国会内，都是适用的。国会里要有竞争。我们才会有更好的政策，才能改善民生，才能为我们的孩子们创造一个更好的未来。可是，工人党如果要在国会内提供有效的竞争，那我们需要你的支持，让我们。有机会，有时间，有资源，茁壮、成长，帮助我们的国家迈向第一世界的国会。谢谢。Okay, the next、uh, Workers Party candidate I would like to introduce to you is、uh, Eugene John. We call him JJ. Easier. He's from the private sector, and、uh, if you look at his credential, it's quite impressive. As Singaporean from the private sector, he grew、uh, an enterprise, a startup, successful. He sold it. Now he's starting another one, and I think not many people can、uh, grow enterprises to the point they can sell it to MNC.、Um, he's more specialised in education、uh, sector, entrepreneur and education sector. Uh, besides that, he also does、uh, quite a lot of community work、uh, in various、uh, area schools and all that. And he's also、uh, sitting at、uh, one of the committee at the government the feedback unit, which.、Uh, so uh, uh, carry on, JJ. Thank you, Mr. Lau. 大家下午好，我是郑忠。呃，正如秘书长介绍，我有一个相当广的工作背景。嗯、呃，我曾在新加坡国立大学电脑系当这个嗯、呃、任教，也在新加坡贸易发展局工作，和在一家幼儿教育连锁公司当总经理。过后，我开发了各种不同的教育企业，嗯、呃，有包括这个网上学习。还有通过美术来创造这个想象力。目前，我也为几家企业，呃，初创企业公司当呃这个呃导师。Okay, in brief, I have a fairly diverse work background. I have taught full time and part time in various tertiary institutions in various subject areas. Work in the statutory board. Serve. As a general manager for an education chain, before starting a range of education businesses that involves both technology as well as creative arts. As Mr. Lai has mentioned, I have been active in community service. Actually, I was just counting; it's been about 30 years since I was a student. I became active, and then I became active. As a volunteer officer, first with St John's Ambulance Brigade, then with the Boys Brigade, and as board members of various non-profit organisations,、uh, in school advisory boards, as non-resident fellow of NUS Shears Hall,、uh, in my college alumni, and in various local and overseas projects, 
I've contributed actively as a citizen, writing frequently to the forum pages of the newspapers in Singapore. And I've also sat in a number of government committees, uh, one of which Mr. Lau mentioned was the REACH Policy Study Work Group on Education. My term has ended about one and a half years back. This activity showed that I have a heart for the community at large and contributing several hundreds of hours every year towards all these activities. I've been an entrepreneur for the past 11 years. With each new venture that I start, there's always the challenge. You start with nothing, and you face all sorts of challenges and problems, and you learn to build up the resources along the way to finally leave behind something that is tangible and lasting. I believe all these experiences that I acquired should serve me well as an aspiring politician. I'm contesting in these elections as a Workers' Party candidate because I believe Singapore needs alternative voices. It needs a strong, credible party for the long-term insurance of Singapore. As a businessman, I believe that monopoly is not good for the consumers. There will be lack of ideas, lack of innovation. And all these innovations and ideas should come about when there is competition, so that it's for the general good of the consumers. We've seen that happen when the monopoly on telecoms fell, your handphone prices goes down, you know. These are, and there's a lot more innovations that goes on. Precisely for this, Singapore has a competition law to prevent monopolies. While in politics, there's no such law to talk about monopoly, but really I believe it is up to you, the voters, to be able to make that decision as to what direction you want Singapore politics to take. Do we want to have more alternative voices so that you can be heard? Or do you want to continue to have this imbalance in Parliament to continue to take place? Thank you.